right, so we're out here at the range today. Um, I'm here, I'm Hiller Wilson. I'm here with Angie. She's one of our newest team members, Dragonfly Outdoors. The purpose of today is not only are we here getting together to have some fun and get to know each other, but we're also getting our muzzle loaders ready for the bear hunt that we're going into, going on in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. um, we have been graciously given by our sponsors, Hawk Optics, some new scopes for us to use on our guns. Um, I have a CVA right now that I'm going to be sighting in. So basically today's tutorial or kind of lesson for us yeah. is to, yeah. <laughs> to get everything <laughs> sighted in. So hopefully when we do do some bear hunting, I mean, I'm sure you're like how I am. I, I don't want to miss any of no, those bears. No, no, no. Shoot them, shoot them dead. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to see how it goes today. Hopefully you'll enjoy the video. And, you know, hopefully we'll get some dead ringers and we'll be ready for our bear hunt in a couple weeks up in North Georgia. Good. Yeah. I don't think we're going to do much, but oh my god, <laughs> I I haven't shot this in a while, so I More I have okay. yeah I have forgotten how much of a kickback it has, and I love my muzzleloader. I don't shoot it often. No, I haven't shot in like three years. So so, but um, I think the only thing that worries me the most when we're out there after we get the sight in is going to be going out shooting it. And waiting for the smoke to clear to see if we actually end up hitting something. Exactly. Or if it's still charging us. Because, of course, muzzle loaders take a little bit longer to uh, reload than the normal gun. So, But since it was turning up to the... Um, but since it was going up to the right, or top to the left, what we're going to do is we're going to dial it in. Um, this is a little bit newer of a scope, so I am getting used to, used to it. And, of course, you can hear our kids in the background. So... Um, if it's going up, we need to, and then you have to make, remind me because I am so bad at remembering how to do these things. Usually I do them, but I forget. Do you remember? Um, uh, let's see. It goes up. Maybe we can ask my husband who's behind the camera. <laughs> well, you know, get a little tutorial. We usually do, I usually do these, you know, but up with it being up. a new, oh, duh. Left is left. Okay. So you need to come down. We need to go down. You need to go backwards, then up. If you yeah, need to is, go to the right, you go backwards, then left. Okay. This is what I get all the time. Mm -hmm. he, he gets upset with me because I usually I'm end not up upset. going. I think it's hilarious. I usually outshoot him every season. <laughs> I don't know, but uh -huh. I usually outshoot uh -huh. him every season. So so now that we have it dialed in, I'm going to go through and reload. Um, the nice thing about the muzzle loaders when we do go out and hunt, it's always a good thing to have several of them ready. Um, I'm sure you got yours ready. Most people do have them ready. So you have everything in there. Make sure your gun's back on on green and all. And we're just going to go through and reset the barrel. And boy, you know, it reminds me of whenever I'm teaching my kids at school when we're talking about going and... There we go. I know, that's always hard. Reminds me of talking to the kids about the Revolutionary War. Oh yes. I mean, you know, with them going through how they would every one every minute or something they were having to go through and do like two reloads mm -hmm. or something in a minute. I mean, I don't. A, a good Civil War soldier could do three in a minute. Well, I'm not a good Civil War soldier. <laughs> I'll go ahead and tell you that much. I know I'm going to struggle trying to get this stuff in there, and all. Get my primers. That's always the hardest part. Until they're so tiny. I know. Well, at least we're ladies. We have an easier time getting in than most men. So Daddy. getting the primers in. So we're gonna kick this other primer out. We're gonna reset it, reload, and try again. And then hopefully, as soon as we get mine sighted in, we'll get in with Angie. Let's see. This is where I'm gonna have my hard time. We're gonna get with Angie, and we are going to make sure hers is sighted in. And then hopefully have a little bit of fun. So, and I'll probably tell my husband to cut the camera off because this will. Oh, oh, ha ha! <laughs> Didn't take too long as I thought. All right, lock and load. Get my ears back on. <laughs> tell the kids to get their ears back on. I think he gave us a score of nine. Oh yeah, <laughs> Patrick, can you look at this? Pan out. 
Our kids are in the car. Do it again, Adrian. Do it again, Adrian. <laughs> Score of nine. All right. I don't know her All right, kids, get your ears on again. You ready? Yeah. Charlie? She's getting there. Get your ears. And I'm going to hold on a little bit tighter this time. All right. You ready? Yes. All right. I think I'm nervous about it. <laughs> I understand. That hurt. Scope kiss tonight. <laughs> I get you, you got the scope kiss. I got uh -huh. the, the shoulder blown a little bit uh -huh. and a couple of little. I think I might have a little scarring right here from <laughs> uh, backfire. But regardless, they're sided in. We're not going to touch them. Feel mm -hmm. like they're good. They're good yeah. to go. So we're going to be ready for when we go out in a couple weeks. Um, just want to say these scopes that we have from Hawk are absolutely amazing. Um, I know I can't wait to yeah. put one on a bear and see what exactly we can get. Hopefully, you know, we'll all be able to get something. Mm -hmm. If not a bear, definitely a pig or a deer or something. This will be opening season for that. So now that we're done and it's kind of dark out, we're going to tinker gonna... around a little bit. Um, business is done. Now it's time to have fun. Yes, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so I'm going to be pulling out my AR. And what are you going to pull out? Probably my 308. Your 308? Yep, my 308. Yeah, just get in. It's a good gun to me. It's, it's knocked down many deer for me. Oh, yeah. so. uh, I love mine too, but I love mm -hmm. my AR, especially when it comes to getting those coyotes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So we're going to pull those guys out for a little bit, do a little bit of video on that, have some fun, and hopefully next time when it's dark out, we can get some trace around so we can really have some fun with them yeah. and shooting and everything. But hope you hope you enjoyed watching the video. <laughs> we had, had fun siding it in, had the kids out, got my son on the AR. Um, he shot that. I think he had fun. Yes. He almost <laughs> hit the middle, so that's good. Almost. So, <laughs> so it's going to be pretty fun. And, you know, thanks for watching. So we'll see you next right. time. Guys, ready? Yep.
want to try? Fun. Yeah, I do. <laughs> This is what we call having fun. Yes. <laughs> First time for everything. And you can adjust it if you want to right here. Okay. And the safety's on. Safety is at your right thumb. Right there. Yep, right here. Safety. Down. Just push it down. Push it down. And it doesn't zoom in, but just put the green dot on it. Okay. And if you need, if it's too, you can always bring it in if you need to. Back up, AC. She's cool. faster. What are you doing? Oh. You can fast as faster. Faster as you can pull that trigger. Keep, just keep pulling She's it. Fast. It's empty. Yep. Empty. Yep. Is that cool? That is wild. That's awesome. <laughs> I love this gun.